game after game after game, I realize now what is most important in my life. Football. Show me something more thrilling than a perfect folly. Tell me you've never dreamed the immaculate strike, been part of that moment when an entire nation holds its breath. Tell me that football is not our one common language when the whole planet stops for 90 minutes to be witness to that one thing we all understand. Yeah, you can tell me I'm wrong. Some may say it's just a game, but this is about heroes and tribes, loyalty and devotion. It's our commitment and our passion, our battle and our belief. This is our faith. Now, hear the fever of the crowd, hear the roar of the faithful. This is the beautiful game. This is your moment. And white shorts to Romania. Mateo Pelé. White through the wall. How about that one then? It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street. There's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe. Our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living room. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radials, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. 